Well, I'm on the road right now. Got a fun job planned. Putting a riser on a septic tank. So uh, follow along. Hopefully it doesn't uh, smell too bad there when we take the lid off. But we already got the hole dug out. The uh, customer here had, had their tank pumped and they decided they want to add a riser so they don't have to dig a big hole again because it's about three foot underground. They make kits for it, but I bought a couple different parts because this is kind of an odd tank. It's got a 22 by 22 inch square cover, whereas a lot of tanks have smaller square covers or, um, or round covers is, is what we mostly see around here. Um, and most risers are round. But this one being a uh, 22 by 22 inch square, I had to buy a certain uh, adapter plate or ring that'll uh, get bolted onto the tank or screwed onto the concrete tank. And uh, so, show you guys how we get that done. Make sure it doesn't leak. That's the biggest thing with installing a riser. If you have a leaky riser, uh, your tank's gonna fill up faster and put more stress on your uh, lateral lines by sending a bunch of rainwater into your laterals. So, uh, so make sure you get a good seal on it. I use butyl rubber uh, rope, and uh, I'll show you that here in the video shortly. All right, there we are. That's the hole. You can see there's a couple handles there. Let me get a shovel to clean this up a little bit and we'll get started on the riser install. If anything, I'll break it off and then uh, put some seal into that. There we go. Nice. Not too bad. I just clock that a little bit so that the holes are offset of each corner. Hammer drill. steel. I got some big pan washers that are stainless steel. They'll go under the head of these tap cons and hold that plastic down a lot better. Here's a little preview of what that stuff looks like. See it's a moldy, I think it's asphalt. They call it butyl, B-U-T-Y-L, rope. So it's really sticky, it's waterproof. 
And then I believe when water hits it, it kind of grows too or expands to even seal better. So we're gonna go on the outside edge here. No problem. Do that to the other side too, clean it up. This is actually uh, roof caulking, so it's black, but this is really good stuff for stopping leaks. It's meant for underground as well. You know, it works on roofs, but it works underground too. So I'm gonna seal this lip here that this pipe's gonna sit down on. side too. These are just Phillips head stainless steel screws. You want to screw these from the inside out. Hold this uh, riser in place. Order business. This is a uh, basically an adjustable piece that goes inside this can here that this guard sits on. And it's basically a secondary uh, protection. If somebody gets the lid off, they can't fall in here. at a certain height, throw some screws in it, Let's just have a little stainless steel cap screw, safety device I wanted to show that safety device a little bit better so the concrete lid is not on down there so if you were to open this lid somebody could possibly fall in so this ring is adjustable and then it screws in there with those self tappers stainless screws and then once that's screwed in 
like that sits on top of it and then it gets screwed in as well so that's the safety lid and then we'll put the real lid on top OCD kicking in. I'm making it line up with the house and maybe with the exit line here. There we go. And these just screw right in the top. This lid has a uh, big foam gasket under it that's getting smushed down right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little dirt in there with the machine and get down there and pack it in in a couple lifts that way that base of that has a uh, you know is nice and tight and uh, doesn't move any uh, throughout the years here All right, well that is that for a riser install. Dirt around it will settle a little bit, but I packed it in pretty good. And uh, got a nice lid they can access there. Built up so no water can get into that lid. And ought to be a nice way to surface the tank and also keep water from leaking in the tank. If you like the video, if this helps you out, or if you think you can install one yourself, after watching this video, if I gave you any help or hints, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks.